Ruth, a good friend of mine who um, uh, also joined us for the Lightworker event. Yep. When she and I were both at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition 15 years ago, it wasn't even called the Institute for Integrative Nutrition back then. It was called Gulliver's Institute, just for those of you who are Gulliver's Institute. <laughs> and she and I were in their immersion group, was, which was not even called immersion back then. Ah! And, and we were looking to fill our practice. And one of the things that she said, you don't have to look at the sheet of paper yet, because you could really be looking at me, <laughs> of course. And, uh, and we were all looking to fill our practice. And she said, I forget what she called it, but she kept a running list of all the people who had expressed interest in working with her so she could keep track of them. And I forget who in the front here just uh, before lunch said, oh, I, I, I love the idea of, you know, networking, but, you know, following up is 90% of it. Here's what I've learned about myself in the last 15 years and about entrepreneurs as a whole. Sometimes we go out there and we network, network, and we go and talk to a centers of influence and people express interest in working with us and we do nothing about it. We completely forget because we're on the next thing. True that or not true that? True that. So, thank you to Ruth. I started writing down the names of people who expressed interest in working with me, either in passing, oh, I should work with you one day, or I, more explicitly, I want to work with you. Um, I want to work with you, but I'm not ready yet. Uh, let's set up a time to talk about working together, or my cousin should work with you, or whatever. And what I found, literally, I used this. It was the only piece of paper on my desk and some of you have been in cabs for a long time. And so you've heard about this before. And you've been really disciplined about not doing it. <laughs> it's OK. It's you? It was you. Oh, and then you, we talked about, did you start doing this after the last accelerator? I'm going to call you on in a, sec in a second. So some have been really disciplined about not doing it, which is lovely and I'm sure counterproductive. <laughs> The only reason I'm really fanatical about this, because I would never be fanatical about something that doesn't work, is because for, for a long time I just kept adding sheets of paper and, and stapling and I had a stack of love em up list on my desk peering from under my keyboard because it worked so well. Now, I filled it out in pencil because I'm old school and I'm proud of that. Some people would say, like my Derek would say, no, create it and put it on your, and keep it on your desktop. And out of sight, out of mind, that would never work for me. You do what works for you just as long as you work it. 